Hi all and welcome to Miss Robbie's classroom. I'm your teacher, Miss Robbie, and today we will have another topic on the self-learning modules for Science 9. For this clip, you will need your Science 9 module 5, your activity notebook, and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. And remember to practice honor and honesty when answering your modules. So our goals for this clip is that you'll be able to relate species extinction to the failure of populations of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment, distinguish environmental changes that may result in the loss of species, and suggest possible ways of protection and conservation of biodiversity. And so with that, let's talk about Module 5, Biodiversity. Before we go on, let's find out what you know about the topic. Go to page 5 to 7 of your modules. Answer A and B. For letter A, the words in the box are some of the causes of a species extinction. Look at the pictures below and identify which cause of extinction matches each group of pictures. Write your answer on your activity notebook. My friend number one, can you guess the cause for this species extinction? That's right, it's letter C, hunting and trapping. For letter B, match the concept in column A with its description in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer in your activity notebook. Letter number one, species. What would be the best description for this concept? Correct, it's letter B. A group of organisms that have certain characteristics in common and are able to interbreed. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 5? Great, let's see how you did. Go to page 23 to 24 of your module. Pause this video while you check. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Let's have more activities that have something to do with our lesson. Go to page 8 to 9 of your modules. What's in? Have you ever answered a crossword puzzle? Well, complete the crossword puzzle using the clues in page 9. Down and across. Enjoy! Were you able to answer all items in what's in? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 23 to 24 of your module. Pause this video while you check. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Now let's have a challenge. Go to page 9 to 10 of your module. What's new? Read and analyze the situations below. Identify what environmental issue is being referred to. Write only the letter of the correct answer in your activity notebook. Like for your number one. The principal causes of these are illegal logging, kaingin, farming, and conversion of agricultural land to housing projects. The correct answer is letter A, deforestation. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in what's new? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 23 to 24 of your module. Pause this video while you check. Did you get perfect? Great! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. So do you have an idea what we're going to talk about today? That's right. We're going to be talking about biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity refers to the variety of life in an area. In an ecosystem, organisms need a balanced environment. If 
any part of the ecosystem is disturbed, other parts will also be disturbed. Now, there are some things we need to remember when we talk about biodiversity. The first one is limiting factors. Limiting factors are environmental conditions that keep a population from increasing in size and help balance ecosystems. The second is population. It pertains to the number of organisms of the same species living in a certain place. And you have carrying capacity. It is the amount of organism within a region that the environment can support sustainably. Let's talk about limiting factors. In the natural world, limiting factors like the availability of food, water, shelter, and space can change animal and plant populations. Other limiting factors like competition for resources, predation, and disease can also impact population. If any of the limiting factors change, animal and plant population changes too. Which brings us to population. Some changes may cause a population to increase. If there are more plants than usual in an area, populations of animals that eat that plant may increase. If one animal's population increase, the population of animals that eat that animal might also increase. Now, increases in population aren't always good. Sometimes, a population will grow too large for the environment to support. Other changes and limiting factors will cause a population to decrease. If a population becomes diseased, for example, the population may decrease and the population of animals that eat the diseased animals will also decrease. Now let's go to carrying capacity. If the population rises above the carrying capacity, organisms die because they can't meet their needs. So there is a need for balance. In nature, populations usually balance themselves. But sometimes, when man impacts population, they can't always re-establish natural balance. Humans can impact animal and plant population. When humans, for example, develop land for houses and buildings, they cut down trees and change the animal and plant habitats. And because of this, sometimes it would cause extinction among animals. Extinction is the disappearance of a species when the last of its member dies. Changes to habitats can threaten organisms with extinction. As populations of people increase, the impact of their growth and development is altering the face of the earth and pushing many species to the brink of extinction. In the Philippines, some terrestrial species like the tabarao in Mindoro, mouse deer in Palawan, the Philippine deer, monkey-eating eagle, and aquatic species like the dugong found in Negros, Batangas, and in Leyte are in danger of extinction. When a species population becomes so low that only a few remain, the species is considered endangered and will possibly become extinct. When the population of a species begins declining rapidly, the species is said to be a threatened species. The Philippines, these are the top five endangered species. The Philippine crocodile, the Mindoro bleeding heart, the rufous-headed hornbill, the hawksbill sea turtle, and the red-vented cockatoo. Can you think of ways to prevent the extinction of endangered species in the Philippines? Let's apply what you just learned about biodiversity. Go to page 12 to 15 of your modules. There are two enrichment activities that will help strengthen the basic concepts in this module. Choose only one of the two to answer. Write your answers in your activity note. Were you able to answer all items in page 12? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 23 to 24 of your module. Pause this video while you check. Did you get perfect? Great! 
Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. It's assessment time. Go to page 12 and answer the assessment. In letter A, choose the best answer that completes each sentence. And for letter B, complete each sentence below by writing down the correct answer in the blank space provided. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Are you ready? Let's go! Congratulations! Now you know all about biodiversity. To make sure that you apply the lessons you just learned, I want you to do the remaining activities on this module. Go to page 17 to 19 of your modules. What I can do. Make a scrapbook out of the pictures. Cut these out individually and paste in a short bond paper or any recycled paper available. You would need a pair of scissors, glue, coloring materials, and short bond papers and roller. Cut out the pictures of this critically endangered species in the Philippines individually. Paste them orderly in short bond paper. Color and decorate your paper. This would be your output number one for quarter one. Submit your scrapbook to your teacher for checking. Now you're all set for module six. Until next time, this is your teacher, Miss Robbie from Miss Robbie's classroom. Happy studying, guys!